<laughs> I've got a quick fire game for you now, okay? Yes. Uh, we're we're good play... at that. We're really good at that. Oh, yeah. perfect. I knew this was coming. That's why I'm my head. Delilah. <laughs> Delilah. <laughs> we're going to play Who Said It? Queen or The Queen? Oh, okay. okay. Yes. It's all to do with training. You can do a lot if you're properly trained. Was that Queen or The Queen? Do we, it's do all we... to do with training. Yes. You can do a lot if you're trained. Can anyone do the voice of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth? You should be able to do that. You should. Why, because I'm, I'm British? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> the, queen. the Queen. The Queen. Correct. Yes. yes. It was the Queen. Queen. The Queen. It was the Queen? <laughs> yeah. What? Damn. Okay. I have to be seen to be believed. That sounds like, it's like Freddie Mercury saying that. No. Say it in Freddie's voice. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I think Let's it's go Freddie. Freddie. I think it's Freddie. The queen. The it's queen. the queen. She has to, well, well, you did that gesture. Freddy the queen. That sounds like a very Freddy thing, but I'm going to say the queen. It is the queen. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, queen. Whoa. Sassy queen. Yeah. I like to be surrounded by splendid things. Freddy Mercury. Correct. That's Freddy. Oh, that could be either. This is good. That again sounds very Freddy, but I think the queen. That's Freddy. Okay. <laughs> Football's a difficult business, and aren't they prima donnas? Surely that's not the queen. Is it the queen? the queen? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this band name is now making so much sense. Television has made it possible for many of you to see me in your homes. That's the queen. That's the queen. <laughs> yeah. Television has made it possible. Oh, that's not it. Do it again. I'm not going to be in the crown anytime soon. At least not as the queen. Well, maybe yeah, as someone yeah, else. Maybe not as the queen. Maybe that's the <laughs> queen. As someone doing an impression of the queen. <laughs> if they have that character. Okay, I want to say that that's queen, but I feel like, again, that's the queen. That's the queen, yeah. She is sass. Prince Charles is doing a great job for young people. <laughs> <laughs> he shows genuine concern and interest. That's... That's gotta be Queen, Her Majesty, right? Her no, Majesty Freddie be, Mercury. It has to be Queen. Yeah, it's Queen. Yeah. <laughs> it's John Deacon. Yeah, is it? <laughs> that can't be either of them. Qu the Queen. That's not. That's not Queen. That's Queen. <laughs> what? That's Who? John not Deacon talking about wanting Queen to work with the Prince's Trust. Wow, interesting. Like all the best families, we have our share of eccentricities. That is Queen. Our Queen. I think the it's band the Queen. queen. I think it's the queen. Do you think so? No, I think that's Mercury. It's the queen. It is? Domination. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm winning this game, so. Queen. The queen. What? <laughs> Since when has she been so open and candid? <laughs> I'm in love with my car. Me too. <laughs> yeah, that's <clears throat> Roger Taylor, right? Roger Taylor. <laughs> Correct. Machine of the Dream. I you know that that's the B-side of Bohemian Rhapsody? I know, it's in the film. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You were paying attention. Good. That was just a test. <laughs> that was just a test. Yeah. <sighs> Roger Taylor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you want to know about Freddy's cats? <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> what are, there's Apollo and Delilah and Goliath. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Romeo. What did Romeo. Feed them? What did he feed them? Yeah. Uh, what did he feed them? Uh, just kibbles? No, no, real food, human food. Yeah. Only the best. Caters. Human beings? Yeah. The film has such a great cast and it's so much fun to watch everyone on screen together. Um, I'd love to know what your funniest or most memorable moment from filming is. I guess the most memorable one of will be the very last thing we shot, which was Rami and Gwil doing Love of My Life and Rami taking that sweeping bow. And it was the last moment that we shot of this film and we were all watching on the monitors and Dexter, our director, turned to us and whispered, I'm going to get him to do it one more time and then we're all going to clap and that's it. We're wrapped. And everyone suddenly got... I mean, came to the realization that it was over and done after everything we'd been through. And so it's on camera where he goes down and everyone starts applauding and he comes up and realizes what's happening. And there's just this moment and then he blows kisses out to everyone and it's just, oh, it's so heartbreaking. And it's all on camera. How were you with bloopers? Were there any moments that made you crack up laughing? Yeah, they actually showed a great blooper reel at the rap party. I'd like to see that again. I always, I'm such a like goody goody. I always get too nervous. So I just try and like correct myself. With a big movie like this, there must be some things you shoot which don't make the final cut. So I wondered if you had a favorite deleted scene we Ooh. might get to see later on the DVD. I mean, one of the most incredible things about this film is a Live Aid performance. And I think, and it's obviously cut down in the film, hopefully the full extended version because they shot the whole 20 minute set in full, so hopefully that appears somewhere, because that was something to behold. That's amazing. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You get to see this band come from 
not rags to riches, but really define themselves as human beings, as misfits, as outcasts, writing these songs that uh, all of those people uh, can understand and relate to. And then you get it to see them be put on stage in front of thousands. So it is a film experience like no other, and it must be seen on the big screen. Yeah. Right? And yeah, we, we've seen this in some amazing cinemas. We saw it yeah. at George Lucas's cinema in San yeah. Francisco. Yeah. Best sound system you could possibly imagine. That was sick. And you, when you get to the live, when you get to the concert sequences, you feel the vibration of the music in your chest. It's, yeah. like, it's like being in the crowd. It's yeah. really quite an experience. I really wanted to ask you about the live aid scenes because they're incredible to watch. And what was that like to film? Big challenge. It was the first yeah. thing we did. The very first thing we did. So we showed up. They gave us five weeks to rehearse it to learn every single movement, like down to like the smallest detail. Like if they tripped over a chord, you had to do that. If your person turned left at a particular moment, you had to look to the left. Like it was it was that kind of detail. And so that was particularly challenging because we needed to learn all six songs, we needed to learn every movement, and we still also had to emote. We still had to be actors. We still had to understand what was going on in those moments in that part of the film, what was going on between the characters, what it meant to them. And so kind of doing all those things, making it feel natural and making it feel unrehearsed, even though it was mm. rehearsed to the, to the, you know. Yeah. Well, go ahead, yeah. I mean, and we had Brian May there and Roger Taylor there, the legendary members of Queen. They were giving advice. I mean, they gave you some advice, mm. right? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, that's it. Like as Joe was saying, we were really meticulous in like capturing this scene really in in complete accuracy. And at the end of the first uh, rehearsal, Brian came up to me and was like, "No, oh, it's very good. You got this. Very detailed. It's very accurate." But. Uh, don't forget that I'm a rock star. And uh, you know, with that comes a certain amount of ego. And it was just a really cool thing to hear at that point because it made me realize that we're not there to like mimic or to just caricature, but actually like to fill these characters with our own sense of like energy and adrenaline and, and joy and all that kind of thing. We'd studied it enough before. I mean, at least I had to know roughly, obviously the guys were rehearsing for about a month before but to see that every beat, every nod and head turn had been matched moment for moment was so shocking and it was my first day of filming so it was a great introduction into the kind of the tone and expectations. And what's the reality of filming a scene like that? What are you actually seeing? In an airfield just outside London. So like the stage was incredible and you're completely transported when you're there and backstage. And then of course you turn around and it's just grass. I mean with the combination of the set and their performance, it's it's pretty much like you were there. Do you have a favorite song that's performed in the in the film? When they first get together and they do Keep Yourself Alive because that was, we did that scene for a whole day and so that song has been on like a loop in my head in, in association with this film. That's the first time in the film you really get to see Freddie's stage presence and energy and so it's such a thrill and it was so much fun to watch on the day as well. It must be so much fun to witness all these performances all the yeah. time. Yeah, especially as the person who gets to stand in the audience and just enjoy it and like clap <laughs> along and stuff. Like I had the least kind of pressure on me so it was, yeah, it was just like one concert after the other. That must make doing karaoke with your castmates or anything like that. We've never done karaoke. I mean, this, you should see them sing along to Queen at the rap party and such. That's something <laughs> to behold.